<laughs> How's everybody doing? Kirk Fletcher here. It's Telly Tuesday. Pulled out my old 52 parts of Telly, parts of Caster. <laughs> so, um, 1952 body and a 56 neck. Um, Black Guard Telly I got from Norm Harris, and I love it a whole lot, so I pulled it out today. I realized it was Tuesday, so I figured I'm pulling out some of my old guitars and, you know, just having some fun, you know. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this um, subject that I talked about a couple lessons ago about the double stops and chords and things like that. You know, and I got a couple um, questions a few people commented in the comment section <laughs> about can you do this minor you know the same concept applies for minor too you know it's basically trial and error for 30 years but <laughs> it's a trial and error of uh playing you know just trying different little things and to me you know there was a time where i played maybe tried to play more complicated, like double stops or triads and things like that. But really, I have a few little things that I rely on a lot, you know, for when I think minor, you know, like just the chords that I play, you know, like, you know, like for a minor chord, I just play, you know, so instead of playing this or I just play, you know, and move it, you know, just move the um, D and the G string. It's like what I call, these are sort of like Kirk's non-committal chords. I always refer to a lot of this stuff because a lot of times in church and different kinds of music, you know, you don't know what somebody's going to play and you don't know like a million songs. So I develop devices to play that kind of you know, it doesn't really lean, it doesn't really have anything like a major third or different things in it, you know. Just kind of, just a minor seven. And just move that. And you're already making music. You know, you already, you could play that for like the intro to a song or whatever, or just a little riff if there's one. If there's two guitar players, you know, playing, and if one is playing more, this kind of thing, you can play like, and then I even put like this uh, kind of Steely Dan, I got it from Steely Dan, you know, so you're just playing. Slide it up a whole step, you yeah. know. You know, you're playing a pentatonic scale, just. <laughs> no, is it? I'm looking at the camera while I'm playing. <laughs> and then your classic, uh, you know, I, this, you know, this is a classic jazz thing. I probably, I personally probably first heard, uh, it's probably um, George Benson doing. Ooh, the Grant Green. <laughs> but yeah, these double stops. And so I'll just, I usually just, if I'm playing a minor chord, you know, minor song, I mean, I'll just play. And then you kind of stand, you know, you're not playing any weird notes because, you know, it's really down to laying off those weird notes in certain progressions, you know, or you're playing with certain people, are you playing with a piano player or whatever, are you playing with really harmonically sophisticated musicians and you being the blues guy want to stay out of the way? You know, if I play with somebody like Jeff Babco or Mike Landau or any number of people, you know, I'm going to play, you know, I'm just going to try and stay out of their way, you know, and a lot of songs, you know, like that they'll play, you know, they can kind of reharmonize it in, in a different way and take it to the moon. 
and I can just play, you know, something real simple. Mm -hmm. you for playing the blues but yeah these double stops this is something that you know just once again for a minor concept again for the four chord I'll probably just not even play the you know play the A and I'll probably just play just some little uh things you can do double stops and you know like even playing like um for the four chord playing a little triad you know That's all for today. Just wanted to give you a little uh, continuation of that uh, other lesson that I did a couple days ago about chords and double stops. And this is the minor version of a couple of little ideas. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm having fun and I'll see you real soon. Happy Telly Tuesday. Take care. <laughs>